Have you ever wondered how much money the mayor in your town makes? Or why the head football coach at your alma mater is bringing in the big bucks? Well, for the last several weeks, I poured through countless documents of salaries of those employed by the state of Georgia. Some of the numbers you hear might surprise you, and others will leave you asking, they make how much? Like Every day at Rutland Middle School in Bibb County brings a new set of challenges, especially for 7th grade math and science teacher Eric Dvorsny. The second year teacher spends his days working with kids who need extra attention in the classroom. When you've taught somebody something and, and they get it and then they can apply it, that is the ultimate joy. It's a great feeling. The Warner Robins native, along with countless other teachers across the state, is bringing in a little more than $40,000 a year. That's the average for a second year teacher with their master's degree. I don't expect to, you know, drive a Range Rover into the parking lot. Um, so that, that makes it easier, obviously. So what about others who work in education? According to open.georgia.gov, a website geared toward transparency with Georgians tax dollars and state salaries, superintendents make significantly more money. In 2013, four of the superintendents in Middle Georgia made more than $100,000, ranging from Peach County at a little more than $154,000 to Houston County Superintendent at almost $196,000. The exception to this statistic is former Bibb Superintendent Romaine Dalamod, who was bought out for more than $500,000 in 2013. Do I think that there's a huge disparity? Absolutely. State Representative-elect Heath Clark says he recognizes the huge gap between teachers and administration. The board levels, their salaries are so high and they're so disconnected from the classroom. Um, I, I think that there are some areas we can look at in waste and spending that comes from, uh, that creates some of the disparity that the teachers are not receiving. Then you take a look at the salaries from professionals within the university system of Georgia. The president of Georgia Southern made $381,000. Compared that to the University of Georgia's president, Michael Adams, he brought in nearly $1.3 million from the state in 2013. And then there's football. UGA's head football coach, Mark Richt, made more than $405,000 from the state. This is Bobby Dodd Stadium, home to the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets football team. Head coach Paul Johnson calls shots from the sidelines each football season, and he also makes hundreds of thousands of dollars from the state. Johnson banked more than $332,000. Some people say that might be too much. You know, I don't know, necessarily know if it's fair or not. Um, you know that going in, so you know at least you're not caught off guard once you get into the profession and you realize that you don't have that. The state gives the coaches a fraction of their million dollar contracts they receive from the university's athletic departments. They generate revenue for the school through the football program um, and ticket sales and concession sales and stuff like that. So there's some revenue generation there. Switching to governments, Governor Nathan Deal brought in almost $140,000 from the state in 2013. Three positions in his office made more than he did. According to surveys from the Georgia Department of Community Affairs, the average salaries for the Georgia mayors fell well below $30,000. The mayors in Macon and Warner Robins were the only exceptions to that statistic in middle Georgia. Mayor Robert Rickert made a little more than $101,000. Mayor Chuck Sheen brought in $100,000. What about those who protect and serve? First responders can make anywhere between twenty-seven dollars to $60,000, depending on the county where they work. Dvorsny says it's not about the money, and to do the job, you have to love every single day. I guess the same call that a police officer gets, you know, inside them or the firefighter or the you know, person in the army, this is the same feeling you have as a teacher, you know, you get into it for a certain reason, not for the money. All of the information is public record from using open record requests and the aforementioned websites. And we want to hear from you. Tell us what you think about the state employee salaries. Should teachers make more and more or should others make less? Chime in on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash 41NBC. Or you can do so on our website. That's 41NBC.com.